I'm admiring the pillow in the background. Oh, my doctor sleep. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I like it. <laughs> Freebie. <laughs> oh, was it? Yeah, it was at a screening for Doctor Sleep, and they were giving them away. <laughs> oh God, I I don't have anything free to to give. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's no problem. Um, so right, okay, so you're up for the Shooting Star uh, Award for 2021. Tell us how you found out about how you were nominated and how it actually feels to follow in the footsteps of people like, say, George McKay, amongst others. Yeah, I I, I mean, I I found out. Um... So I found out that I was going to be Ireland selection first. Um, you know, there, there's 37 countries that can submit uh, someone. And I found out that I was going to be Ireland selection. And, and even that, I was like, oh, my God, it's amazing. Um, you know, there's there's such a wealth of, of talent in, in Ireland. Um, and, and I felt really honoured to, to be Ireland selection. Um, and then I found out... Uh, that I had been selected by the jury to be one of the shooting stars uh, via email. So, uh, so not not the not, not maybe not as exciting as a story uh, as you would have expected. But um, but it, you know it, it's a huge honor to to be uh, to be selected and and you know to be in the company of the brilliant actors this year uh, who have, have been selected and also to be mentioned in the same breath as, as someone like George Mackay, like you just said, and uh, or, or Andrew Scott or, or Kerry Mulligan, or the, I mean, the, the list goes on. There's so many incredible people who I really admire and, and look up to. So yeah, to have my name uh, next to theirs is, is, is really thrilling. Well, yeah, I mean, to be honest, you've done some pretty good work, especially you know, oh, thank in the last few years. So it's, no, it's a no brainer, really. <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much. Well, I, I worked with George recently um, and, and he's, a dream like he he is uh, you know the kindest person I don't know if you've had the chance to talk to him have you talked to him before no I haven't. Uh, well he, he is the kindest and sweetest guy you'll ever meet he's he's so lovely so I'm about to be hugely disappointing um, <laughs> instead <laughs> okay well assuming you know you can't bet on yourself but you know who who would you uh, put your money on to win this uh, to get to get that top spot to be to like to have the best career to have the best career or just yeah. to out, out, of, oh. out of the your fellow uh, nominees <laughs> god it's really difficult uh, because you know you watch um you watch all of their work and and uh, everyone uh, as people are, are very different and everyone as performers are 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 very different um i think um oh god that's so difficult to pick and we also have lots more events to do so I, I, I don't want to pick someone and then be like oh god I, I left everyone else, or loads of people out I think do you know what it's it, it's difficult to say because everyone's very a very different performer and, and I really do just admire how, how different everyone is and and, and their style of performance is different to, to my own and, and different from each other so it is very hard to compare but I will say that I've been blown away by, by all the work that I've seen by by, by everyone. Okay, and you actually started acting at a very early age as well. Was it something you always wanted to do? Or did you have one of those bushy parents, you know, get out on the stage type parents? <laughs> the, the opposite. Um, well, not the opposite. They weren't being like, don't do anything. But they, but they, weren't, they, they, they weren't pushy at all. Um, they were always just, and still are, incredibly supportive, um, which, which is, is something that's really, uh, it's not lost on me how, how um, lucky I've been to have that support network in, in my life, both of my family and my, my friends. Um, I think, I mean, how I got started was my sister was going to a dance and drama class and I was obsessed with, uh, with, with her. Uh, she's amazing. Um, and, uh, and everything she did, I wanted to do. So uh, she was going to this uh, drama class. Uh, so I was like, I wanna go. And they would send all of the kids for open castings. Uh, so I'd, I'd been to one of the classes and then, and then a week later I went to an open casting and I got my first uh, my, my first job. And and at that age, I definitely didn't think of it as a career at that point because I was so young. I was only 11. So I think at that time, the feeling was um, was, wow, I, this is something that makes me happier than anything else. And I, I get so much joy from from this thing and I, I don't think I would have been able to at that time 
I don't think I was thinking about career. I think I probably thought I was going to be a professional footballer at that, at that age um, with no discernible footballing ability. <laughs> but, um, but, I, but I think at that time, I just knew it was something that made me happier than, than anything I'd done. Um, and then it wasn't until I got a bit older that I, I, I kind of pursued it as a, as a career. Um, and you've also, so far, like I mentioned, you've, all, you've done pretty all right for yourself. And obviously, you know, from, you. mainly from the roles um, in the phenomenal normal people where you played quite a real jerk, to be quite honest. <laughs> Loved it. I think that's putting it lightly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, tried, I was trying to keep this clean. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, did you ever imagine, you know, that your career would blow up this way? Or, you know, you must have a really good agent. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I mean, they're they're great. Uh, they are. They're they're brilliant. Um, I think. Uh, you know, again, like I was saying about about a support network. My agents have been incredibly supportive, um, and and such uh, brilliant guides and 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 um, my relationship with them. I I I really I, I really value. Um, in terms of um, normal people, I I don't think any of us expected it to um have the reaction it did because i think whenever you make anything if you were expecting that kind of reaction 99 percent of the time you'd be let down because you know it, it, it was kind of phenomenal the the, the reception it, it got and and um we were all so blown away i mean i thought i i did think that we had made something that we were all really proud of and um, which is a good start um, but, but none of us could have anticipated the life that it took on when it, uh, when it um, came out or, or, or anticipated the amount of uh, uh, tweets uh, saying they wanted me dead uh, when, when, the show, when the show came out. Okay, and um, you're also about to star in Cherry as well, aren't you? For, we're working with the Russo brothers and Tom Holland. Um, did you try and worm your way into a, a mar into the next Marvel film at all? Or if you could join one, would you want to play a hero <laughs> or a villain? villain? Oh, that's a that's a good question. Um I, I didn't I, I didn't I didn't try and worm my way into into <laughs> anything. I um I felt incredibly lucky to, to be there and to be working with those people. And I learned so much from from Joe and Anthony and, and, and Tom and and the whole team actually that were that were on the, the film. Um, but uh, uh, in terms of if I'd rather play a hero or a villain, I think, I don't know. I mean, my, my gut is saying villain, um, <laughs> but I don't, yeah, God, I don't know. To be honest, I'd take what I can get if I was getting offered uh, <laughs> something in one of those films. I, I don't think, I don't think I'd be uh, making the decision based on hero or villain. I'd be <laughs> signing the contract as soon as I could. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> but I reckon you'd make a good villain after seeing you in normal people. Uh, yeah, and then the juicier roles as well. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, some of my favorite performances in 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 cinema uh, are uh, villains, and and you know, uh, people have done it so brilliantly, like um, Joaquin Phoenix and, and Heath Ledger and, and Andrew Scott and Sherlock. His his performance, I think, is so so brilliant. So yeah, I'd love to get the chance to do something like that. Okay, well, thank you very much for talking to me. It's been an absolute pleasure. Ah, oh, thank you too. <laughs> okay, thank you.